Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 minutes. As usual, we go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is about Arnold Chiari syndrome. Chiari malformation is a structural defect in the cerebellum characterized by a downward displacement of one or both cellular tonsils through the foramen magnum. Don't confuse Curie syndrome with but Curie syndrome. Arnold Curie syndrome is about the foramen magnum. but Curie syndrome, on the other hand, is caused by occlusion of hepatic hepatitic vein with a tr triad of abdominal pain, ascites, liver enlargement, and formation of blood clot in the hepatic vein. Here's a, a normal cerebellum and a normal tons tonsil. And here, there is malformation, the descending downward of the tonsil. From the epidemiology point of view, congenital carry malformation, there is tonsillar herniation for one per 1,000 birth. Women are three times more than men to have congenital carry malformation. In normal adults, posterior fossa comprise 27% of the total intracranial space. In adults with Chiari type 1, it is only 21%. To establish an accurate diagnosis is essential. Headache begins in the back of the head irradiating forward. Associated with coughing and sneezing, or lifting a heavy object with tr trouble swallowing, difficulty swallowing, vomiting, dizziness, neck pain, unsteady gait, and uh, scoliosis, curvature of the spine related to spine cord impairment, slow he uh, heart rhythm bradycardia, or fast hair rhythm, tachycardia. Abnorm abnormal breathing uh, central sleep apnea. Breathing cessation during sleep. In severe case, it could cause paralysis. In addition, poor hand coordination, gait disturbance, and STT gait. Arnold Carey syndrome, cerebellum has tonsil. Tonsil herniate down and push down. When they push down through foramen magnum, which has a limited space, they compress the upper part of spine cord, including lateral fiber going up or down. Among them is sympathetic downflow that causes Horner syndrome. Descending sympathetic tract Horner syndrome. Ptosis, meiosis, and anhidrosis. Type of carry malformation. Actually, there are four types. The type 1 is herniation of cerebellar tonsil. He is a normal cerebellum. He is a herniation of the tonsil. Type 2 is a herniation of cerebell cerebellar vermis. Has the area of the vermis and has the area of the paravermis. Actually, in type 2, is the herniation of the vermis, accompanied by hydrocephalus and myelomeningocell. Here is about hydrocephaly. Type 3 
It comes with occipital omphalocele and Chirengo myelia, which is a cyst inside the spinal cord. Up to 50% of carry patients also develop Chirengo myelia. Symptoms of Chirengo myelia include inability to feel change in the temperature. It is usually seen in the cervical region, but can extend into the medulla, oblongata, and pons. Stiffness in the back, shoulder, arm, and leg, pain, heat, weakness, and numbness. Loss of bowel and bladder control. Sexual dysfunction. Another complication is syrinx, which is a cyst of the cavity within the spinal cord itself, causing numbness and weakness. When they form, they don't go away. The treatment is surgery. Type 4, lack of cerebellar development, not compatible with life. A normal cerebellum, yeah, not compatible with life. Remainder, carry malformation is a structural deficit in the cerebellum, characterized by downward displacement of both cerebellum tonsil through the foramen magnum. Don't confuse with Butkari syndrome caused by occlusion of the hepatic vein with a triad of abdominal pain, ascites, and liver enlargement. In addition of formation of blood clot and hepatic, in, in the hepatic vein. Four type of carry malformation. Type one, herniation of several tonsil. Type two, herniation of cerebellar vermis. Type 3, occipital omphalocell and syringomyalia. Complication of syringomyalia is a syrinx, which is treated by surgery. The type 4 is lack of cerebellar development. It's not compatible with life. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the button like and subscribe? Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.